Today we're going to learn how to delete the geometry based on length using a circular or spherical shape. So let's do it. So let's do the camera, the light, or the geometry nodes. You will see that this is really easy. Let's use a grid for the example. Let's make it here. I'm going to hide this. Now let's make it bigger, something like this. And let's add more vertices. So right now what I want is to delete this grid from the center, like a circle that is expanding. So something like this. From here, going out in all directions. So how we can do that without using a cycle? To do this, what we're going to do, first of all, is to use the light geometry. Now it's deleting everything, so we need to use selection. And basically what we have to do is to use a math node and select, for example, greater or less than, let's use this one. And let's use a vector math and use length. And let's use position. And let's go in this here. And basically what is happening is that now this is the lighting based on the length from the position. So from here. And if we expand this, basically what we are saying is to show more. As you can see. Because now we are using greater. However, if you want to create a hole, then you need to use less than. And we are deleting from the center, expanding this. So for example, if I select three, basically what I'm doing is creating like a radius of three meters. And I'm saying everything that is less than three meters from this position, from the center, delete it. So with this, you can expand or reduce this invisible cycle. And if you want to add more resolution, remember, you need to add more vertices. So this technique is really fast to create like this shape and delete, for example, points, faces, whatever you want. And remember that this is not only in 2D, so it's not only in these two directions. It's doing this in all directions. However, we don't have a 3D object. But if we use, for example, a cube, so let's use a cube and go into here. Uh, let's make it bigger. And really important, add more vertices. If not, you're going to delete everything at once. So let's increase this. And now, if we increase this, remember, it's like deleting like a sphere. So in some point, as you can see, it's deleting all the faces because it's like a sphere. If you want to see better, I'm going to select cavity and increase this. And check this. If I'm increasing, we can see better. I'm going to add more vertices. So it's deleting all the faces because we're using the center of the position to calculate the length and delete in everything that is less than this length. Or remember, you can use greater than. So it's the opposite. And you can use this, for example, if you have a grid with a lot of objects. I'm going to mute this. And let's use, for example, distribute points on faces. So now we have a lot of points. And maybe, for example, you want to reveal or create an explosion that is deleting everything around. So, in this scenario, I will use this technique. I will start from zero and then increase this. And everything is gone. Or you can do the opposite to reveal these objects. So, you start from zero and you start revealing all the objects. So that's all for today. I know it's really easy and really short, but I want you to show you how this technique works. So if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can know this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.